Hi Aries, welcome to your next Friday reading for Wednesday to Friday. I hope you're well. Let's see what's going on with you Aries. Ooh. So we have here lessons and blessings. Very good. Lessons and blessings. Hmm, let's get one more. Oops. And we have the, the watch. So it's like something you've possibly learned Oh, we have transportation. These are past life energies. The bottom of the deck is Asia. Um, all right, so let's see. Messages for Aries, please. I'm using the Spellcaster's Tarot. Three of Swords. So to me, this is like gaining wisdom from something that was painful. Like you experienced something. Oh my goodness. The two of wands. You have a choice to make. You could be at a crossroads. Seven of swords. Somebody who lies or hides information. Oh my goodness. What comes into your awareness is that you're really strong. Queen of wands. Future energy is a king of the pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, earth energy. Your energy is a two of cups. You have a partnership. There's a connection between you and another person, kind of like a soulmate. Around you, you have an ace of coin, a new beginning, a new potential for something very real and successful. You're hoping to be queen of pentacles. So even though you are the queen of fire, you're hoping to be either wealthy, successful, to have money, unless there's a person that you wanna have a partnership hit with here. Oh my gosh, I figured, you know, I'm gonna change decks and I have here the death card, Scorpio energy. Something is about change. Now, if there's like a broken heart, something changed or ended, we have here the Hierophant. This is, you know, a decision-making entity. Um, it feels like you have to... Hierophant is marriage. Four of Swords, resting. Your energy is Two of Cups. What is Three of Swords here? The Devil. Okay, somebody, it could be Capricorn, but this is negativity. Okay. What is the heart? So you pull away or you have some wisdom Seven of Swords energies in the past. This is a liar or somebody who hides information. You take charge. You do have somebody who's an ally. What is the Ace of Coin? The Magician, Manifestation, Manipulating the Environment. Somebody who tries to fix things too as well. They've got lots of ideas. It's Major Arcana, so it's a good energy. Energy of Gemini. So what is this death in the Hierophant about? Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. So something is going to change in a very good way. Because we got the Nine of Cups, which is the wish coming true. And the Ten of Pentacles. Money, wealth, and abundance, or long-term commitments. 
So something is going to change for the better. Somebody fixes something or repairs something or manifests wealth. Your energy is you have an, eye, an ally, a partner, or a friend. It's on your side. Okay, so what is this um, Two of Wands? The Four of Cups. Something here where someone doesn't respond. They don't. It's pausing, waiting, showing disinterest, or at least trying to maintain peace. Okay. Your energy is a two of water. So there's an ally, a friend, a soulmate. Somebody is manifesting something real. What is the magician? What is the magician? What is the magician? What is the magician? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, same energy. So earth sign energy, you're manifesting wealth or abundance. You're turning lemons into lemonade here. Three of Swords is like something was painful or hurtful. It wasn't a tower, but it's just sort of some painful situation. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups and Six of Swords. Somebody could be returning to you. Water sign energy. Six of Swords is peace. Moving out of conflict. It could be a return of a person. Okay, let's see. What's on the bottom? Six of coins, generosity, gifting, charity, financial balance. I feel like you're learning some wisdom about a person who possibly was toxic or there was some kind of negativity going on. I feel like peace is going to come into the situation through a major change where someone is going to be um, better. Basically, they're going to manifest better things for themselves. Around you is some wish or emotional wish fulfillment coming true that's linked to something regarding money, finance, or um, financial balance, reciprocity, give and take. So the hermit comes in in the crossing. There's wisdom with high priestess, very spiritual, spiritual transformation. Could be a secret. You could be finding out a secret about someone, but it doesn't really matter because it's almost like you're happy that this is closing out. What is the King of Pentacles? Oh, wow. The Ten of Cups, the happily ever after, the happy home. The rainbow that comes out after a storm. It could be someone with earth in their chart or it could be somebody who's very grounded or stable someone with money or um what is the ten of cups and king of coin okay that's the person that's bringing in the generosity or the balance the partnership the the alliance so something changes, it's drastic change for the better. Ace of water on the bottom, very powerful emotions and feelings connected to this. It's a new opportunity for peace, love, or happiness. And justice being served, wow. King of wands, temperance, five of pentacles, seven of cups. So underlying this energy is justice being served and a new potential for love, peace, or happiness. However, it comes in. Okay. Let me get one more of these past life cards. For Aries, spirituality and religion is going to be very important to you. I feel like it's going to be, it's in the crossing of any kind of painful emotions. It's like, well, what did I learn? Lessons and blessings. 
some kind of spiritual transformation. You are coming on here as a queen of fire and your energy is a two of water. You have a soulmate or a bond. Somebody is turning over a new leaf, basically. They're changing for you. So I'm going to leave this here, Aries. Thank you for tuning in and take care.